Hit the subscribe button or visit us at auau.auanet.org. In this video, we demonstrate the neuroanatomy of the prostate and periprostatic anatomy via a 3D animated video describing the anatomy of each individual structure. It is based on the work published from 2002 till 2022 regarding prostatic anatomy. Prostate is a dense fibromuscular gland situated in the true pelvis, surrounded by a compact, multi-layered fascial architecture with nerves and vessels intermingling in these fascial layers. Laterally, the prostate is surrounded by the lateral layer of endopelvic fascia, also known as parietal endopelvic fascia, which medially covers the detrusor apron on its lateral ends. The detrusor apron is an extension of the anterior wall of the bladder beyond the bladder neck towards the posterior area of the pubic bone. Medial to this is the visceral layer of endopelvic fascia, the neurovascular bundle and corresponding autonomic nerves emerging from this neurovascular bundle lie between these two layers of the endopelvic fascia. Medial to the parietal and visceral layer of the endopelvic fascia lies the prosthetic fascia which has veins embedded in it. Based on this anatomic background, grades of nerve sparing have been described with positive results on a balanced oncological and functional outcome. The puboperinealis flanks the prosthetic urethral junction and acts as a hammock supporting the urethra posteriorly and is responsible for the quick stop phenomenon of urination. The urethral sphincter complex consists of the external labrosphincter, inner lesosphincter and the membranous urethra with surrounding supporting structures like pelvic diaphragm and supporting fascia. The inner lesosphincter is a complete cylinder of circular and longitudinal muscle fibers around the urethra. TVC is composed of nerve fibers, dorsal veins and prosthetic arteries runs as the anterior division of the pelvic neurovascular bundle from the prostate bladder groove inferiorly on the anterolateral surface of the prostate towards the penile hilum overlying the urethral striated sphincter anterolaterally. Prostate with surrounding structures is supplied by autonomic and somatic branches originating from lower thoracolumbar T11 to L2 and sacral S2 to S4 vertebral centers. Nerve fibers from these centers coalesce to form a plexus of nerves interposed with ganglion cells and fibrofatty tissue. The anterior branches of S2 to S4 form the pelvic nerve and contribute as a parasympathetic branch to the pelvic plexus. The somatic supply originates from the sacral roots of the spinal cord as the pudendal nerve. It passes along the pelvic splanking nerve with the pelvic plexus. The sympathetic contribution comes from the hypogastric nerve of the superior hypogastric plexus and upper lumbar communication of the intermesentric plexus and the L3 and L4 splanking nerves. Seminal vesicles and vas deferens are extraperitoneal tubular structures located at the base of the prostate, surrounded anteriorly by bladder base and posteriorly by rectum. Seminal vesicles are surrounded by major portions of nerves and laterally have associations with the proximal neurovascular plate. In a study on adult male cadavers, majority of nerves to seminal vesicle are found to be at the posterolateral surface of seminal vesicles. The pelvic plexus, also known as inferior hypogastric plexus, denoted as the proximal neurovascular plate, the autonomic fibers from this neurovascular plate are distributed in to the neurovascular bundle and accessory neural pathway in a spray-like pattern with 60% of these fibers extending on the posterolateral side of the prostate and 40% on the anterolateral prostate. The 
prosthetic nerve fibers on reaching the urethra lie adjacent to the membranous urethra along the lateral and dorsolateral side of urethra between the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Endolaterally, the prostate has fibromuscular tissue known as AFMS, anterior fibromuscular stroma. From the base towards apex at the urethra, AFMS is intermingled with skeletal muscle fibers from the urogenital diaphragm with the levator and eye muscles of the mid prostate and from mid gland to base of the prostate with the trouser like smooth muscles. The prostate is covered laterally and posteriorly by the capsule and ventrally it fuses with the lateral borders of the AFMS. The prostatic capsule reaches the posterolateral prostate embraces the neurovascular bundle medially and becomes the pararectal fascia covering the rectum posterolaterally. Anteriorly, the DVC is located in a space between the detrusor apron and AFMS. The puboprostatic ligaments are the dense pyramid-shaped medial portions of the distal endopelvic fascia. Puboprostatic ligaments fix the bladder, prostate and membranous urethra to the pubic symphysis, the bilateral ligament have an added advantage in urogenital competence. The puboprostatic ligamentous complex comprises the puboprostatic ligaments, arcus tendineus and puboperinealis muscle. This complex contributes to the formation of hood, which is preserved in the hood technique of robotic radical prostatectomy, and this technique demonstrates promising results on negative surgical margin rates, better consonance rates in both early and long-term follow-up.